got the Yokohamas up front. All fancy. All the tread. Got the old enduro runways on the back. Chose the best one that was on the back of here to uh, make up for that six tire. Got the old uh, old firestorm on there. Not in bad shape. That rim was actually the best, best condition wheel on the whole truck. It was on the inside. It was hiding in there. See, ones that were on there are pretty bad. And then, of course, the. Uh, 225s that were on the front. All kinds of spares. Well, I was, uh, I cleaned them up and, uh, we gave them a thousand coats of the high performance rust oleum you know how we do it professional and then thousand coats crystal clear painting up the center rings with the semi gloss And then we gave him a thousand coats of clear. Give it the old uh, factory kind of industrial look. Figured I'd try it. Looks pretty good so far, I think. Oh, I was waiting for the paint to dry. And I was looking at the back here. You know, it was uh, a couple of jackknives through the years, not from me, but somebody, somebody hit it a few times. So uh, this whole rear corner is uh, kind of out of shape, but I uh, took off the tail weight and I sort of inside there bent back the structural pieces and made the tail weight kind of fit better. And uh, this piece of trim right here was missing when I got it. This one down here, I sort of uh, bent back a little. Still uh, not too good, but better than it was. And uh, you can't just call up and, you know, order that piece of trim. A, you just can't get it. These are very rare pieces to get so ever since I got the truck I don't know a couple a few years ago I don't even remember but I took a picture just like that put it on all my uh, all the square body pages and stuff trying to find that piece of trim maybe somebody's got it No luck, still have not found it. So then I was, uh, when I painted the Suburban last time, it still had the trim, the old Sierra Grande trim on the back there. It was, uh, it was just intact, it was just there, but all the other trim on the whole thing was gone. The kid took it all off and threw it away. But 
you know, I started, I was like, man, I'm thinking, all that trim kind of looks the same. And uh, I had the two pieces, they came off pretty, pretty easy there. So I started looking and uh, come to find out, it's the exact same style trim. So here we have the piece and underneath the Rust-Oleum Battleship Custom Gray, it's a uh, beautiful trim under there. So I, I turned it upside down because, you know, you got to go the other way for the other side. And I just uh, put it on here like this and I just kind of carefully bent that and it seems I've made my own piece of trim. Kind of notched out the end there so it fits over and then uh, one screw on the end here should, uh, should do the trick. Yeah there's that dent there but I'm not going to fix that right now just you know like I was saying before put that piece of trim on there and it sort of you know it looks better rather than just nothing and these things here I kind of just took a small brush and uh, just brush them black right in there not glossy or anything, just like a like a semi-gloss finish so that it looks like it was supposed to be like that. Now I just picked up a can of this uh, aircraft and I'm going to see if I can get this old, uh, old paint off of here and then um, I'll just have to paint this middle stripe here black to match the rest of it. Probably make one for the bottom too. I had to use a couple of soap tappers, but paint them black and they blend right in. 